Morning. Uh, it is 7.30 and it is a nice morning out here. I've been sitting inside and I might come out here with my coffee because it's just it's just nice out. I can't tell. It looks like it is getting cloudy and maybe it's supposed to rain at some point today. But I hope y'all are doing all right and hope that it's been a good week so far. Let's start out with a prayer and then we'll get right into the devotion for today. Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for the, the sounds of your creation, for the birds in the sky and and the trees, thank you for the, the busyness of the roads near us, the trash trucks picking up trash. We are grateful for all the different ways that we feel a part of your creation. And we ask that you uh, fill us with your spirit to go out into the world to be a part of that creation in different ways, to care for it, to care for each other, to care for you uh, and all that you have made. So uh, fill us with your spirit today and let us go out into the world to do your work with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today I was up way too early and uh, just staring at the wall and we've got... Uh, it's not a painting. I don't really know what it is. It's some kind of tapestry or something on the wall and it's um, shaped like the, the state of Minnesota on the map. And it says something like, this must be the place or uh, something like that. We got it from Minnesota when we lived there. And uh, it's something that reminds us of, of our time there. Uh, and it's one of those sayings that's kind of like, there's no place like home or uh, home's where the heart is or something like that. Um, home is wherever you feel love or something you know so it's a it's a cheesy little saying but it reminds us of of that feeling of home that we felt when we were in minnesota and the feeling of home that we feel different places in our lives i've been thinking about a sermon for sunday and it's the good shepherd sunday and i'm preaching at a different church so i'm not throwing any uh any spoilers ahead for my sermon hopefully pastor john <laughs> nothing nothing about his sermon either but um the idea of the good shepherd, of, of Jesus shepherding us around, a shepherd doesn't really have a place, it seems, that feels like one home. A shepherd is always on the move, and uh, maybe a shepherd calls a place home for a little bit or has a home base, but is always on the move and, and is moving around at least uh, in, in a certain sense. And so uh, the good shepherd is somebody who provides that feeling of home for us wherever we are and and whatever that might feel like and so um when i was looking at that art on the wall and, and thinking about our time in minnesota and how that felt like home and maybe our time in other places in the midwest or back here in south carolina or different times in our lives when we might have moved around uh, what is that feeling of home that we hope for so much and what where does it come from? Is it from the people around us? Is it from a house it, itself, uh, a, a physical structure? Is it from uh, an experience? Is it from uh, an environment? Is it from a, uh, a time in our lives when we had different responsibilities? What is that feeling of home that we're, we're hoping for often? And, and what, how do we grab onto it? What are we uh, doing to, um, to try to make that something that we're feeling every day? And, where does our faith fit into that? You know, I we talk a lot about at church uh, a feeling of peace or welcome or or, or rest. Um, those are the things that we we strive for and that we say that our faith can give us. So, um, are those things that feel like home? Uh, where does our faith fit in when we're thinking of that that sense and that uh, sensation of of home in our lives? And what does that mean to you today? And what has it meant to you in your life before? And what will it mean to you tomorrow? Those are some things that I'm thinking about today. So hopefully this weekend there's something that might give you that that peaceful feeling, that comforting feeling of home. Um, and if, if you're still searching for that in your life, wherever you are in your life, uh, hopefully that's something that, uh, that your faith can give you hope for. Um, but let's pray. We'll go about our days and we'll, we'll see what kind of glimpses of a, of a homely feeling we feel uh, today and throughout the weekend. But let's pray. God, we find our home in you, and we, uh, throughout different places and moments in our lives, we, we continue to lean on you for that feeling of peace and comfort and, and belonging and purpose and all those things that, that might feel good when we find a place in a community or a people that feel like home. And so we ask that you continue to, to sprout up places like that and feelings like that in our hearts, uh, wherever we are. Uh, and that we have places to look forward to when we're feeling a little lost in the world and that we always lean back on you, even if we feel as though 
we uh, have no place to call our own right now. Um, but God, we are grateful for the different ways that your faith gives us hope in this world. And we ask that you continue to fill us with that hope and with your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day. Uh, and God bless.